welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to set up my February The Binder Co. Bible Study. Now, January turned out really well, but I'm going to change things up for February. This is January Ever Present, and basically I take the cover, put it on top of the January um, divider, and then here I just put the calendar over here. And then for the month, I decided to write one thing to pray about that day and just focus on that day. These are actually the printables that I printed out at Happy Planner size, and I just put them in um, a paper clip since I'm done with this month. Actually, I actually have a few days to finish up, and I just leave them here for now. So this is January and everything that I'm going to pray for that day, and then my weeks. Some are more filled in with others. It depends on the prompts. Um, they might may not have you write things. It may just be like, go listen to a song or text someone. So some of them, like this week, doesn't have a lot of writing because it was more of actions and things that I needed to do. And then finishing up the week, uh, finishing up the month on the other pages. Now for February, I'm going to change it up. Uh, this study is called He Is. So what I did was, this was like one of the printables in there, so I just left that up front. And then this is the main page that I put again on the divider. And then inside, instead of having the calendar that I'm going to pray for every month, I'm going to change it up a little bit. This is the, the calendar that comes with the devotional, but this is um, the Reset Girl Faithful Life Kit. Now what this kit is, is every week you pick a verse or more and um, kind of design, write it out, decorate it, however you want to do it. So I'm going to try this this month in here and how I'm going to do it is within the week I just pulled out some of these papers from the Illustrated Faith Praise Book in here. They have all kind of like really cool different kind of paper and and things like that that I'm going to use. And what I want to do in here is take a verse and decorate it. Use some more of my supplies. I have tons of supplies that I need to use up. So I'm going to try to do that within this week um, and decorate that here as well as doing the Bible study. So again, I printed them out and I put them inside the week and then a piece of paper here to decorate as well. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. I will leave links below to the Bible study so you guys can print it out. Um, she does it every month. It's completely free. It's amazing. I would love to see what you guys do with it. You don't have to put it in the Happy Planner. You can use it in, in a regular notebook, traveler's notebook, uh, just staple some papers together. But this is really, really great. I'm really loving this. This is going to be my second year doing these Bible studies, and it's just incredible. So I'll leave the links down below for the Bible study. I'll leave the link down for the praise book in case you want to pick that up as well. Um, I started this last year but didn't finish it, but I like this as well because I can be a little more creative inside of here and uh, use my stash as well. So when Corey the Reset Girl was doing um, the faithful uh, prompts, she was doing like a list instead of the verses. And so I would do that in here instead of uh, when she didn't have the verses. Also, Illustrated Faith has their own little devotionals that you can print out from Print and Pray, uh, their Print and Pray shop. So I have a lot of those too that I'm also going to put into uh, my Bible study binder just to keep everything in one place so I don't have a bunch of books um, floating around. But I love this. I got this off Amazon. So I'll leave a link for this as well. And that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions below and I'll answer them. Um, as fast as I can. Have a wonderful day. Bye guys.